Diagram completion questions are more common in IELTS reading academic. In these questions, you are given a diagram which has some labels missing and you have to label it correctly. The answers to the diagram completion questions may not necessarily be in order, but they typically come from within one to two paragraphs and the answers are usually pretty close to one another. So to solve these questions, the first thing we do is look at any titles that are given to the diagram, identify any other words that we feel could help us locate the answers easily. Based on these, we identify the tentative location of the answers in the passage. Once we have done that, we look at the first question carefully, read the relevant part of the passage and identify the answer. Just as with short answer questions and gap fill questions, you will find the exact word or words in the passage that need to be inserted in the blank. And the instruction about how many words are allowed is clearly mentioned. When trying to figure out the answer, it's important to carefully look at the diagram as well and understand it from the description of the same given in the passage. So in this case, the first thing I do is try to identify where the answers could be in the passage. When I first looked at these questions, I assumed I would find the mention of Persian Kanath method and Roman Kanath shaft somewhere in the passage. But when I scanned the passage, I couldn't find any such mention. What I did see is Kanath method mentioned in the first paragraph and Persians also mentioned a couple of times in the same paragraph. Romans are then mentioned in the second paragraph and further up in the passage, Romans are mentioned again and again. From this, I get the feeling that the first paragraph may have the answer to the first diagram and the second paragraph may have answers to the second diagram. So what I first do is look at all the three questions. The first question has arrows to certain vertical structures and it says blank to direct the tunneling. The second one mentions water and local people. The third one mentions vertical shafts and earth. These are the words I keep in mind. Now I go to the first paragraph of the passage. Just by glancing at it, I can see vertical shafts mentioned and tunnel mentioned before that. So I'm pretty sure I'm at the right place in the passage. They introduce the Kanath method of tunnel construction. So they are the Persians here which consisted of placing posts over a hill in a straight line to ensure that the tunnel kept to its root. The tunnel kept to its root could mean to direct the tunneling, which means the answer is posts, which are mentioned in the passage as placing posts over a hill in a straight line. So that is what the label seems to be pointing at. Looking at the second question now, Water runs into a blank used by local people. So water runs into something and that something is used by local people. So I keep two words in mind, water and local people. Water is mentioned a little later in the same paragraph. So let's read this sentence. Once the tunnel was completed, it allowed water to flow from top of a hillside down towards a canal, which supplied water for human use. Local people are directly not mentioned, but for human use would be for use of people who are living there. So the water is running from hillside to a canal. The answer is canal. And the answer to the third one is ventilation, which is before the second answer in the passage. So the answers are not always in order, but they are very close to each other. It's always important to understand what is being said rather than just going in for certain keywords and looking for those words in the passage. For example, for the third question, vertical shafts are mentioned in one sentence. The answer, however, comes from another sentence which just mentions the shafts. It requires that you understand what exactly is being said. Knowing the question types helps you decide which questions to do first and know the right technique for each question type. Basically, it helps you find answers quickly and correctly. Most of the question types have answers in the same order as the information in the text. In case of all of these question types, our target is always to look for location key information in the questions 
scan the passage for the location of the answer then read the question carefully understand the question and then focus on that part of the passage where we expect the answer to be all the different methods of solving these question types that i've recommended in this video are just that recommendations and suggestions obviously your target is to find the answer practice a lot see what method works the best for you but certainly knowing each question type well helps you identify that method for yourself most importantly you need this knowledge of different question types to figure out which question type to do first and finally practice is crucial however just do not practice one test after another without pausing to understand why you made the mistakes that you did so do a practice test correct it go back and figure out why you made every single mistake and then move on to the next one just doing a lot of practice tests one after another may not help you improve your reading score that's it for now hope this helped you all the very best